Hey, Jimmy with Cuff and Stuff. Man, have we got a good one for you today. We're doing Texas lemon pepper chicken wings. Not just lemon pepper, Texas lemon pepper. Oh man, this stuff is good. Wanna know how to make it? Hang tight. Okay, well, I hate to do it, but so you'll know what I'm doing, I'm going to have to give away a secret here. All right, so this is just ordinary, everyday lemon pepper. I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten tablespoons. All right. Now, this is 16 grain or 16 mesh black pepper. It's a real thick Heavy, coarse ground. One, two, three. Now, you know, Texans, they like their pepper, right? So, it might as well be some pepper that you can taste. All right. This is a little bit of cayenne pepper. I'm going to put one, two, three tablespoons of cayenne pepper in the bowl. I'm going to take and I'm going to stir this up good. Look at that. And all you can do is tell that after you stir it up a little bit, it's just lemon pepper with a coarse ground pepper in it, right? Nah, uh, way you taste it. <laughs> now, the magic in this is that you can go ta da and look. Texas lemon pepper. Oh my goodness. And this is what we're going to use today. Okay, well, here's our Texas lemon pepper. Let's open it up. You see, it's sealed. This is a brand new bottle of Texas lemon pepper. Now, I can't take credit for all of this. I had a lot of help from Uncle Steve at UncleSteveShake.com. That's www.UncleSteveShake.com. I wouldn't have been able to do this without him, that's for sure. I like lemon pepper. A lot of people don't like it, but a lot of people do. So let's turn this over and get the other side. Oh, you can smell this already. I smell that pepper and just a hint of that cayenne, but promise it's not going to be that hot no more than we put in there and here we go let's get this side done mm, 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 mm. I like what I like when it tastes like I like I just can't help it I like to say no, but just can't do it. All right, I'm gonna let this hang out on here for a little bit. I'm gonna take it over to the smoker when I get the smoker ready. And when I do, I'll bring you back. All right, we got this little half chimney. We're gonna take and pour it right in the center like that and set him off to the side. 
And let's see. Go over here to the wood pile and pick us out a little stick of oak. There's my oak right there. I'm gonna take him and put him down. Put the rack down in it. Top on it. Let's check the vent here. And we're ready to roll. Now let's take this out and start putting down our chicken. And I'm going to start with it skin side down. Why? I just like to. I don't know. <laughs> No, I like to put the heat on the skin side first. It just tends to make the skin a little crispier, not as rubbery when you're smoking it. So most of the time you'll see me put it skin side down. So let's put him down like that. We'll put the rod back in. Put the top back on him, and we're gonna let him smoke. Now, I probably will come back in about an hour and check on it. So when we do, I'll bring you back. Alrighty, well, it's been about 45, 50 minutes or so. And I want to start checking some temp. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm, we're getting in the neighborhood. All right, I'll tell you what I want to do. What I want to do is I want to take, and let's see, here we go. Get my gloves here. I'm gonna take and turn these over. Oh yeah, that was looking pretty. I like the way that looks. I'm gonna tell you, summertime. Grilling, smoking. You know, if you don't do this already, this is something you need to pick up and start on because, man, nothing's gonna make your family happier than you grilling and smoking beef and pork and chicken outside. Man, it's so good. And you know, you just can't buy this. I mean, <laughs> you can go a lot of places, but you ain't gonna come close to what you can do. Once you figure it out, oh my goodness, this stuff is so good. All right, I got it turned. I'm pretty close to the temperature I want. So I may let this go another 15 minutes and so let me put the rods in put the top back on and let's let this go about 15 more minutes or so and I'll bring you back okay well Let's take the top off and see what we have here. Oh yeah, look at that pretty chicken. Let's see where we are. Oh yeah.
right where I was looking. Now, I like chicken to be in the 170 range, 175 maybe at the most. And that seems to be where we are. So, let's take them all. This little half catering pan here. We fill it up with this pretty chicken. Mm. Man, does it smell good. Now I'm gonna tell you, all I've got on this is this lemon pepper. Mm. Boy, does it smell good. Lemon pepper chicken wings. Now, I think that if I decided to glaze this, I believe this would go good with some of that Carolina Gold mustard base. But we're gonna let it go like that. Now I tell you, I'm gonna wrap this up and I'm gonna let it rest for a few minutes and then I'll bring you back. Well, only one thing left to do. Oh my goodness. It's still pretty warm. Let's try a bite. Mm. Lemon pepper wings. Man, these are so good. Look at the smoke. You see it? Man. Take another bite. Well, once again, thanks for hanging around seeing how this was gonna turn out. If you haven't already, hit the circle on this side. Subscribe. I'll have another video for you on this side. Until next time, hang tight.